Gig workers, side hustlers, and the self-employed can breathe a sigh of relief, at least for now. The IRS decided to hold off on requiring payment apps to report accounts with over $600 in income. Robert Frank joins us with the latest, what it means for all the side hustle rules. Good morning, Andrew. The IRS is delaying that new rule that would have cracked down on income from payment apps. This is a tax change that would have required Venmo, PayPal, eBay, and other third-party payment platforms to send 1099 tax forms to customers with transactions of more than $600. That's up from the current threshold of $20,000. Now, those forms would have also gone to the IRS, so they would have seen that income. The IRS saying it's going to start next year instead due to concerns regarding the, quote, timeline and confusion around the rules. But accountants say this may only add more confusion. So here's what taxpayers need to know. This delay does not change the actual tax requirements. If you receive any business income through a payment platform, you owe taxes on those payments. Only payments labeled as business on those apps will be taxed. Personal payments are exempt. So if you reimburse a friend for dinner, you pay a roommate for rent, for instance, those are not subject to tax. If you sell something for a gain, profits are taxed. So if you sell your couch for more than you paid, you owe taxes. If you sell it for less than you paid, you don't owe any taxes. Now, accountants suggest you create two ac ap application accounts on these payment apps if you have a side gig or a business. So create one for business payments and one for personal. That way there is less risk that your personal payments get reported to the IRS or challenged at income. But for now, Andrew, the IRS is giving you at least another year to catch up on all this. And then what about, what about these sort of, I would describe them as small, a, a babysitter. How is that supposed to, you know, in the old days you would, you know, hand the babysitter some, some cash maybe or something like that. Now maybe you'd Venmo it. Yeah. But, and I guess historically that cash probably maybe should have been taxed, but wasn't. I, I don't know. Yeah, this is the Wall Street editorial board uh, accuses the IRS of now going after, you know, teenage lawn mowers who are mowing lawns. Same thing with babysitters. Yes, uh, unless it's a reimbursement for personal, if it's income earned from work or from a business, then that would be taxed. So technically you would have to report that those uh, that babysitter income to the IRS. And that's what a lot of people were concerned about with this, because if you earn over $600 during the course of a year, that income would have had to be reported. And, and it sounds like the truth is in 23, it won't have to be reported, but in 24, it will. That's correct. In other words, uh, you'll start worrying about this next tax year. So this tax year, you can get ready for it in that you, in 2023, you should start at least delineating in those payment apps or eBay what's a business payment and what's a personal payment. Pay close attention to that this year because next year the IRS is going right. to, you know, those forms will start going if, out if, next if January for these, this year. If, if Venmo and Zell and others were smart about this, they'd actually have a little button that you'd press, business expense, personal expense, just yeah. on it so we'd keep track of it for you. They go yeah, after. and most of them do. Most of them do. When you go on, they, they ask, they, they, they tell you which, which is it. They already have that, but a lot of people aren't quite as aware of it, and it's unclear whether all those forms will create, will include both those forms of income when those 1099s are sent to the IRS. So that's why you have to keep track of it. Your kids are on their own next year, I guess. Yeah. Yours? Yeah. <clears throat> it's fascinating because the there may be a tax, but interestingly, uh, most folks will tell you that Venmo and a lot of the um, uh, things at restaurants and ser services where people are, are paying people electronically, the tips actually have gone up so materially um, that people actually make more money that way than they ever did before. It's actually sort of a... a more a, money than they... A ca counter, counter, maybe it's counterintuitive, maybe it isn't, but I, you know, I, a lot of times you go... You, as you a go, waitress, you always made more what, from your tips than from your... Right, but now the, now it's tips $2 are... $2.01 an hour. So you get there's part of it where your people are getting less tips because you're getting less, the ca less in cash, yeah. but a lot of times you go somewhere, um, and it's called toaster, do you ever, and it'll be like 20%, 25%, oh, 30%, yeah, up, yeah, and, and the numbers right are, are... Well, not only that, there are people like at the register behind the Starbucks where you're giving it, you know, all right. the time now, if somebody helps you, it's like, do you right. want to get 15%? Those are big right. tips that kind of go right through, too.